Welcome to SKC Tech Clips. Today we'll show you how to calibrate sample pumps for low flow sampling and how to sample using a single sorbent tube. Assemble equipment required for pump calibration and low flow sampling. Choose a pump with a low flow range less than 1 liter a minute, such as pocket pump touch, or a higher flow pump, such as air check touch, which can be adapted for low flow. Select a calibrator within your application flow range, such as the SKC Low Flow Checkmate. Use method specified sorbent tubes. Select a non adjustable tube holder to connect the sorbent tube securely to the low flow sample pump inlet. For higher flow pumps, use a low flow adapter kit that includes an adjustable tube holder with CPC, such as the SKC All in One. This will allow you to sample low flows in the range of 5 to 500 milliliters a minute. Use tube covers to protect the sorbent tube during sampling and to clip media securely to a worker's clothing. Select the appropriate size cover for the sorbent tube used. A tube breaker allows you to open glass sorbent tubes cleanly and safely. The tube breaker will also retain glass tips for safe disposal. Additional flexible tubing is needed to attach the tube to the calibrator and can be useful for other applications. Let's start with how to calibrate a low flow pump that does not require the use of a low flow adapter kit. As with all air sampling, it is best practice to calibrate pump flow rate before sampling and to verify flow rate after each sample. Use a tube breaker to break off and retain the ends from a sorbent tube that is representative of the tube to be used in the field. Locate the arrow printed on the sorbent tube. Ensure that it points to the pump, the direction of airflow, before inserting it into the tube holder. Insert the open sorbent tube into the black rubber sleeve of a non-adjustable tube holder such as the SKC222 series holder, used for pocket pump touch and other low flow pumps. Attach a second piece of tubing to the open end or inlet of the sorbent tube. Connect the tube holder to the pump inlet. Attach tubing from the sorbent tube inlet to the calibrator outlet or suction port. After charging the pump battery, it is best practice to run the pump for 5 minutes to allow the flow to stabilize before calibrating the flow rate. Set the method specified flow rate on the pump. See pump operating instructions for details. Enter pump calibration mode and adjust calibration until the reading displayed on the calibrator remains within 5% of the set flow rate. Pump and calibrator steps will vary with model. Be sure to save the calibration adjustment on the pump. Remove the calibration train. Keep the low flow tube holder attached to the pump for use in collecting the sample in the field. Let's now go over how to calibrate a higher flow pump that does require the use of a low flow adapter kit. As with all air sampling, it is best practice to calibrate pump flow rate before sampling and to verify flow rate after each sample. Use a tube breaker to break off and retain the ends from a sorbent tube that is representative of the tube to be used in the field. As we did before, locate the arrow printed on the sorbent tube. Ensure that it points toward the pump. Insert the open sorbent tube into the rubber sleeve of an adjustable tube holder with CPC, such as the SKC All-in-One, to adapt the higher flow pump to low flow. Connect the tube holder to the pump inlet. Attach a second piece of tubing to the open end or inlet of the sorbent tube. Use a small flathead screwdriver to turn the screw on the holder counterclockwise. This opens the port. Attach tubing from the sorbent tube inlet to the calibrator outlet or suction port. After charging the pump battery, it is best practice to run the pump for 5 minutes to allow the flow to stabilize before calibrating the flow rate. Set the pump flow rate to 1.5 liters a minute. Enter pump calibration mode. Use a flathead screwdriver to turn the screw on the holder counterclockwise until the reading displayed on the calibrator remains within 5% of the method specified flow rate. Save final calibration adjustment. The exact steps will vary with model. Remove the calibration train. Keep the low flow tube holder attached to the pump for use in collecting the sample in the field. We are almost ready to begin sampling. Immediately before sampling, use a tube breaker to break off and retain the ends from the sorbent tube that will be used to collect the sample. 
Insert the sample tube into the holder, just as you did for calibration, ensuring the arrow printed on the tube points towards the pump. Thread an appropriately sized tube cover onto the holder. Attach the pump at the worker's waist and turn it on. Attach the holder in the worker's breathing zone and run the pump. Ensure the tube is in a vertical position for efficient collection of gases and vapors. Sample for the length of time required to obtain the method specified sample volume. Sampling times may vary for analytical reasons, so check the method and with your lab. Periodically check sampling progress. Prepare blanks, which are sorbent tubes of the same model and lot as the sample tube. Break off the ends, but do not draw air through these blanks. Stop the pump run. Note sample stop time and remove the sampling train from the worker. Unthread the tube cover from the holder and pull the tube from its sleeve. Apply a supplied cap to each end of the tube. Identify and label sample tubes and blank tubes for chain of custody. On a sampling sheet, record pertinent sampling information such as sample start and stop time, flow rate, temperature, and atmospheric pressure. Reinstate the calibration train to verify that flow calibration is still within 5% of the method specified flow rate. This is to ensure that the sample is valid. Package all samples, blanks, and sampling information for shipment to an accredited analytical laboratory. Some samples may require shipment in a cooler with ice packs. For more information and TechClip videos, visit www.skcinc.com. Click on Training.